What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how you can easily get infected if you don't know what you're doing on the internet now we're looking at web pages like this that you can stumble across or you get redirected to by using those types of proxy sites for unblocking uh, torrent sites and stuff like that what they do is they've got loads of uh, dodgy sites laced into them and then you're searching for something and then this will pop up and basically what will happen then is it will offer you and say that you can't display this page until you update your flash player now not everyone's going to fall for it but some people do fall for it they'll click OK everything's safe OK at the moment but if you look at the website here it's not quite even spelt right with Adobe it's got a couple of O's on there and uh, this is a common thing they do and now look at the website itself it does look pretty convincing and it does look like an Adobe Flash Player website. So what happens is people click on this to update their Flash Player. And then what happens is it will drop down a file which is commonly uh, laced with uh, toolbars or whatever it may be. Um, zero access. It could be anything really. And these types of downloads are pretty common. Now sometimes Windows does block them. As you can see here it will give you the option and say it's dangerous. And uh, what you should be doing is discarding this, okay? You shouldn't be saying keep because this isn't a legitimate site. And I can show you right now by just dragging this onto my desktop here. And as you can see, the file isn't even related to a Flash Player. But sometimes they even go as far as making it look like an Adobe Flash Player uh, file, okay? Now this is really common uh, from here. If I hover over it, you can actually see the company name, okay? And that is definitely not an, a file that you want to be installing on your system. Let me show you another example. So here we have another example of a Java one. Now these will be uh, on the same site. You can be surfing around and then all of a sudden you'll get redirected to this before you get a chance to see the stuff you want to look at. And this is how they actually um, get you infected. So it's saying Java update is needed it is recommended that you update your Java to the latest version to view this page. Pretty uh, straightforward stuff, but you look at the top here, javanet2014.com. Now they make loads of these sites all the time and they use the word Java in them to make it look pretty convincing, but it is a dodgy site. We click on this and again it's saying agree and start the download. And down comes the java.exe file. Now this is obviously another file that's going to be moody and it's going to get you infected. Let me just see whether we can uh, see anything on it. I'm going to have a look at the properties here. And we'll look at details. There's nothing in here at all. But if we right click on this and scan this with Malwarebytes to see what happens. Or we'll upload it to VirusTotal. And there you go, the file is actually an infection, as you can see here. Okay, so that's what's going to get you infected. Could be a toolbar. Let's have a look at the Flash Player one. Again, another infection file. And these come from these types, and it's the same type of uh, installation there. But what happens is these types of sites will be on those proxy sites that you go to to, to release um, Pirate Bay and stuff like that. And what will happen is you go for a search and uh, and you will get um, these sorts of pages popping up or you're getting redirected. And sometimes it's not even that. It's a, you may already have a, an infection on the system and you'll get redirected to more of sites like this and get infected even more okay and this is how you end up with piles of uh, toolbars on your browser and other stuff okay so that's just a quick uh, reminder to people and be careful of what you're actually uh, clicking on now if you do want to update your flash player or your java you want to go to the main website okay and you, if you go into the internet here you want to go to flash player if you just put flash player in google like so you will see the Adobe site here, okay? If you click on that, this is the official Adobe website. Look up the top, 
get adobe.com flash player this is the legitimate site and it is run by adobe okay now if you come here also but you can see here adobe.com there's no there's no double o's on here or nothing like that but that's what you're looking for okay you click on this and this will get you the right version it's the same thing with java anything you want to download or update definitely use this sort of method and download it okay because it's going to save you from getting infected so this one helps you out guys just remember be safe when you're surfing the internet watch what you're clicking on don't install anything remember if you're installing executables or anything like that they're not always from a legitimate source if you are going to be downloading this stuff make sure you go to a legitimate source to download the actual files okay anyway so i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoyed the videos then hit the like button guys and also if you want to keep up to date when i upload new videos then hit the subscribe button so thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your support bye for now